Today I'm going to show you four special features that we can build right into your dynamic stamp. We used to have to use a toolbar button for these features, so there's two steps. You'd apply the stamp and then you'd activate the toolbar button. That was two steps, so we no longer have to do that. However, these toolbar buttons are still available for sale at pdfautomationstation.com. And if you're a member of the website, you can go ahead and just use those toolbar buttons. So the first feature is a cancel stamp. Now usually if you, once you activate a stamp from the uh, stamp menu, if you want to cancel it, all you have to do is press the escape key. But if you have a dynamic stamp with a pop-up dialog, it's not as simple as that. So here's the dialog for this stamp. We see apply stamp or cancel stamp. Usually this cancel, cancel uh, button in the dialog would just cancel the dialog and the stamp would still appear and in this case it'd be blank because we didn't select anything. But I can click cancel and it just cancels the stamp. That's a pretty simple feature. Um, the other ones I'm going to show you are probably more useful and more dynamic. First one, uh, or the next one, is to position the stamp on the page. Usually if you apply a stamp, you'd have to select it and then move it into position. In this case, you can select the position directly in the stamp right in that pop-up pop up, uh, dialog. So I'm going to enter some information here in the fields. And right here it says page position, which is optional. If I don't select anything here, the stamp's just going to go right wherever I clicked in the first place when I wanted to apply that stamp. But I'm going to position it in the top left corner of the page and I'm going to go one quarter inch from the edge of the page. We can also select half an inch, three quarters of an inch, or a full inch. So I'll go ahead and click apply stamp and you see it right there a quarter inch from the edge in the top left corner. I'm going to apply that stamp three more times with different settings so you can see where that can go. Top left again, let's go half an inch, apply stamp, and let's go top left again, and this time we'll go three quarters of an inch from the edge. So there's your three stamps here. I'm going to apply it one more time, and this time I'm going to go with uh, the top right corner a quarter inch from the edge. I'm just going to delete these stamps now. And the next feature I'm going to show you is one that will copy the stamp to every page. This is very handy, especially if you have a, many pages in your document and you want to apply that stamp in the same position and you want to apply it to every single page. I'm going to open the Pages panel. You don't see any stamps there in the top left corner on this three-page document. And you can see right here that we're on page one of three. I will activate the stamp. I'll put some information in the fields here. <clears throat> I'm going to go top left a quarter inch from the edge. And now I'm going to select under additional settings, which are also optional, to copy stamps to every page. When I click apply stamp, you can see the stamp on every page in the pages panel. And also, if I scroll through my three pages, you will see that stamp on every single page. And the last feature is flatten stamps. But before I do that, I'm going to go to this document. It's an old Acrobat JavaScript reference, and it is 692 pages, as you can see right here. I'll open the Pages panel, and you don't see any stamps in there in the top left corner. I'm going to select my stamp again. I'm going to go top left corner, quarter inch. I'm going to select copy stamps to every page. This time it's going to take slightly longer because it is applying to almost 700 pages. So I'll click apply stamp and you see it right here where I clicked. As soon as you see that stamp move into position over here in the top left, it will be copied to every single page in this document. So I'll just wait for that, and there it is. And look in the Pages panel now. You can see every page has a stamp in the top left corner. And if I scroll through the pages, you'll see that stamp on every single page. 
I'll go right to the end here, page 692. There's my stamp. I'll go back to the beginning, page 1, and there's my stamp. I'm going to go back to this document now, this three-pager. I'm going to delete all these stamps and show you the last feature, which is flattened stamps. So you can use any one of these alone or any combination of them when you're uh, using this particular stamp. And we can build any of these features right into your dynamic stamp. We can make a custom position that you don't have to select. We could also build it so it remembers the position you chose so you don't have to select it every time. Very handy to copy it to every page and also to flatten it, which means that uh, the stamp will no longer be a stamp. It'll just become part of the document, flatten right into it. That's a good security feature if you want to add something and then flatten it. Nobody can just delete your stamp or move it around very easily. So um, I'm going to open the comments panel so you can see there's no comments there because there's no stamps. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this stamp. I'm going to add some info into the field. I'm going to choose top left quarter inch, copy stamp to every page, and flatten stamps. I'll now click apply stamp. And you see there's no comments here because there's no stamps because that stamp is flattened. And if I try to click on that and select it, I can't because it's not a stamp anymore. It's just part of the PDF. And you see it on every page of the pages panel. I could scroll through, try to select. I can't select that. So that's all we have for you today. Um, visit the website, pdfautomationstation.com. Download some of the toolbar buttons. If you're a member, you can test out some of these features. Or just fill out the contact form and uh, start the conversation. We'll build you a custom dynamic stamp and uh, add whatever features you want. Thanks for watching.